Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that's good. Um, made me a pot of coffee in the percolator this morning. Always good stuff. All right, well, this morning we're going to start off uh, once again in Psalm 133. And then we have a reading in Leviticus. And then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So, let's get started. So, uh, get another sip of this. I did not have a workout this morning, so doing this at regular time. Psalm 133, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So here we go. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. All right. Uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning, Leviticus uh, chapter 19, verses 19 through 18. So here we go. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to its edge, neither shall you gather the gleanings after, the, after your harvest, and you shall not strip your vineyard bare, neither, neither shall you gather the falling grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely. You shall not lie to one another. You shall not swear by my name falsely, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not oppress your neighbor or rob him. The wages of a hired worker shall not remain with you all night until morning. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind, but you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not do you shall do no injustice in court. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great, but in righteousness you shall uh, in righteousness bleh, but in righteousness shall you judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not stand up against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, but you shall reason frankly with your neighbor, lest you incur sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. All right. Get a little coffee here. Good stuff. Okay. The gospel lesson this morning, uh, the gospel of Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 28. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit inter eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. And this is the word of the Lord. All right. And we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, cleanse and defend your church by the sacrifice of Christ, united with him in holy baptism. Give us grace to receive with thanksgiving the fruits of his redeeming work and daily follow in his way. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.